Hey folks, Matt Easton here. Really super brief video just to say sorry I haven't been uploading very much recently. I've just been super busy. Um, I was poorly for about a week and um, I've just been really massively busy. I'm working on a book at the moment which um, relates to John Musgrave Waite's manual and uh, someone else as well. There's two manuals in one book, loads of biographical data and blah blah blah, loads of stuff in it. Um, hopefully it will be a big and interesting book for those of you who are interested in British military sabre um, as, a, as a thing, as a martial art um, and also just as general history um, and obviously I'll put more information up about that um, when I've got you know kind of publishing dates um, coming up and such like but I've just been super busy with work and all kinds of stuff so apologies that I haven't been putting up uh, more videos. I have been active in other sword related aspects of my life, um, obviously I've been running um, my classes and stuff as normal also, I'm always acquiring new swords and selling swords through my uh, website, antiquesword.co.uk. Um, but additionally, I recently got a sword which is just the freaking sum of my dreams. Um, this is it. And I just freaking love this thing. Um, I'll give you a very quick view of it because obviously I know you guys mostly, or most of you at least, watch my channel for the swords. Um, and weapons in general and this is a uh, mid 19th century British light cavalry officer's sabre and if it, it's a very particular type of sword uh, that has what's called a, a patent solid hilt um, also known as patent tang which means a full width tang and this is made by Charles Reeves and it, I'll talk. I'll do an actual video about this sword at some point um, with more detail. But essentially, it's a very early one, um, sig like significantly early, historically significant early, um, and it's just like an absolutely gorgeous sword. Um, it required a bit of cleaning up when I got it. Um, I only got it about what less than two weeks ago, I think, or maybe two weeks ago today, in fact. Um, and uh, the blade is in just like sublime condition. You can see it's actually server sharpened, it's still really sharp on the front edge and the full edge. And um, you can see the width of the um, base of the blade, the fort or ricasso at the bottom there, and the patent hilt, which is a full width tang. So you can see the tang at the front and the back, much like a mesa, for example, uh, fully checkered. Um, down the back of the tang, it's quite unusual. Again, I'll talk more about that in my in my future video. But this sword, it, oh, it's just it's so nice. Um, it, it's amazing in the hand. It's amazing condition, and it's in the terms of in terms of the development of British antique swords, it's quite um, quite historically significant, I think. But again, I'll talk about that more in a future video. I know I say that a lot. Um, so yeah, so sorry I haven't been doing more videos. I will hopefully tomorrow be getting the chance to shoot a few videos. I've got to do a few private reviews um, for things I've been sent, um, so I've got quite a lot of catching up to do, and equally I will hopefully be doing another video for the uh, Patreon channel um, imminently, um, and uh, yeah, support me on Patreon, and um, if you're interested in Antique Swords, have a look at my website, antiquesaws.co.uk, and hopefully you guys will have a more substantial new video up tomorrow. Cheers folks! Thank you for watching, please subscribe and feel free to follow us on Facebook.